I'm recording. Hello. Uh, hello. So, what do we have here? Some kind of tragic mess. <laughs> uh, forum leakage. We're back with forum leakage again. Yes, and this would be the glorious post 10 that we have now reached. Milestone, yo. Wee. <laughs> and as as um as fate would have it, uh we yeah, we are kind of sitting on a pile of a mess because some of the early posts in this thread uh were kind of all over the place. We were still like on one hand they were complex enough to give us more work right now. Or like they, they weren't streamlined enough to just uh copy them willy nilly. And at the same time, uh, they contain a lot of information that is no longer valid. Mm -hmm. And also we have pushed some of the mess <laughs> into this post from the previous one, which we mm -hmm. cut off to end on a sort of uh, good exit note. And now we have a bunch of characters that we want to bring in. We have a bunch of, uh, bunch of questions. We have... We have notes. Mm hmm so, Glorious notes. Yeah. <laughs> so so this is this is very far from the initial uh oh just uh, just we just fix typos on and then post them as is. <laughs> right now this is some uh remodeling. Proper remodeling. We've gone down the rabbit hole a little bit here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh I can say that it's gonna get easier after a while again because point one uh, we reached certain common understandings about how shit works, mm -hmm. and also some some of the latter posts are better writ written. But yeah. yeah, this is this is the messy zone. We are up for a challenge here. Okay, so. The last post ended with everybody following Taniki to the command center. Mm -hmm. So I imagine this post starts when we are in the command center or arriving at the command center. Uh, no, we don't need to do that. The point is, look, the point is that, that they have to take the ship from, uh, from point A to point B. We don't need to follow in real time how they walk to the command center and whatnot. Right now we have two objectives. One, to get the ship uh, moving. And two, to get acquainted with the ship. And uh, the way I remember it, the way I remember us discussing it last time, is that at first they, they contact Moray, they say that yes, take the ship here, and uh, and then when everybody is together then they will board the ship and start examining and then they will start uh, discovering all sorts of uh, funny stuff and then Alexis herself will make an appearance okay so we're starting this with the contact Mariah yes I would okay. skip the whole and and what's this here I wonder what that button does like we have already covered that they are going to the command center haven't we yeah Besides, Corey, Corey Henderson himself has hand waved it. He has literally <laughs> hand waved it. <laughs> so we have established where they're going. Uh, we don't. We don't need to breathe down the neck. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, what we could start on, however, would be like, uh, well, this looks familiar enough. In fact, let me let me begin with just that. Okay. Yay.
I'm trying to say is that this looks familiar enough, at least if you if you don't pay attention. It sounds like something Knox would say. Mm -hmm. So it's like, in-universe, get on with it, yo! Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I'm on it, look, this is exactly the same layout, blah, blah, blah. Uh, then again, why would they need the ship to contact Moray? Like, didn't they have some means to, to remotely communicate already? Corey can call her through his data thingy, data pad thing that he's got. Yeah. So instead of uh, using the ship to uh, using the ship to contact her, it's like two different task tasks. Uh, contact her, and can you get this thing flying? Yeah. So we can take it to a later. Can Corey. You, oh, okay, go on. Can you fly it or not? It's Kanye's brother. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and uh, if Corey is sort of huffing and puffing and can you fly it, yo? He himself could uh, uh, could grab his data pad and uh, and uh, chat with Moray then. Uh. and pugging. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, and an explanation for the for the viewers slash readers at home. We use data pad like an umbrella term for any sort of portable communication device slash com uh, pocket computer slash uh, uh, portable terminal, so it's like think mobile phone or think mm -hmm. tablet. Basically, it's like in some cases we we might need to explain it further, but basically it's like picking up your phone. Mm -hmm. And in this case, we we could assume that they have established a link between their devices or between whatever because they they uh, they have already traveled together on the other ship so mm -hmm. okay i don't need to write that down <laughs> It's one of those instances where it's pertinent that I write everything down, <laughs> but then once once I get to the end, oh wait, this isn't me, this isn't notes, this is something else. Okay. okay. Yeah, this you is know. this is just me commenting on stuff. Mm -hmm. But it, as I said a few weeks ago, it's like well, the, I best write everything down because it will get to the point where mm -hmm. I decide that something doesn't need to be written down, yeah. and then later it does need to be written down, and I'm <laughs> way behind at that point. Yeah, but, it's uh, easier <laughs> to delete than skip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or it's, it's easier to delete than recreate. Mm -hmm. So so yeah, Corey Corey digs out his uh, uh, 
takes out his uh, data pad and and uh, sets up a link with Moray and it's like, hey, yo, <laughs> it's us. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, like, I know. <laughs> uh, it's like, yes, Commander Henderson, your uh, your tag is very visible, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, indeed, your. Your identification is displayed very clearly. <laughs> he's not having a good day, is he, Corey? Like, <laughs> he's like, mm, right. Uh, okay, here's the thing. Uh, we have a ship. <laughs> and oh, oh, and more, more. I could be like. Yes, I am aware of that too. I am currently guarding it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, hang on. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh, yes. And <laughs> this, this should throw Corey off a little bit more, even like... Uh, no, I mean, we have a new ship! <laughs> we have a new ship. It's a long story. Uh, but we need to bring everything together. That's not his actual words. Yeah, that's okay. The, <laughs> but what we need to... You know, regroup the camp. Uh, right, reply. Uh. And more it would be like, uh, the gist of it is why can't you bring your new ship? Why can't you fly your new ship over here then? But I'm I'm trying to figure out her voice here. Oh, very good. Uh, would it would it not be the easiest to bring the new vessel over to the landing site? I feel like we've skipped a beat here. Yeah, so it's like Corey gathers himself and says, uh, "Right, but we need to uh, we need to arrange. Uh, da -da -da -da. We need to arrange getting <laughs> the stuff to the new ship and stuff." <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and instead of "Oh, very good," uh, say, let's say "I see." Oh, I see, or just I see? Just I see. Okay. W uh, would it not... Uh, no, that's that's not at all what I said. I had I had uh, a complex in-character thing there, let me think what I, what I can remember. Would it not be the easiest uh, to bring okay. the new vessel over here? That That sort of thing. Uh, over to the landing site. That's that's what that was it. And Corey should have some sort of inappropriate reaction, like, "Oh, we we can't do something like." Well, but, 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 but we couldn't do that, and somebody's like, "Why not?" Oh, right. Sit tight. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Uh, <laughs> I don't know who this person is. Taniki, probably. Yeah. Maybe she has, uh, in the background, maybe she has already gotten to know some of the controls or poked at the panels, something, something, something. And then Corey's like, oh, right, uh, we'll be r right with you, or something like this. Yes, oh, sit tight, <laughs> don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. We'll be on our way shortly. Don't... Don't, uh... Don't, uh, Don't let the, uh, other ship out of your sight. Some, something... Some sort of, uh... Encouraging platitude. <laughs> and then... Okay, so... Ship takes off. Uh, not yet. Not so, okay. not so fast. <laughs> <laughs> so it will take off after they have poked. After they have sort of tried to get to know the controls, or ah, oh, uh, alternatively, it could take off and then Core is like, "Oh, that's nice. What did you do?" I was like, "Taniki would be like, uh, I." I didn't do anything just yet. So some some sort of uh, some sort of notification that all systems online becoming airborne in blah 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 taking course somewhere somewhere so the in insert helpful expository computer voice here you say I helpful computer voice <laughs> Yes, yeah, so basically some, some sort of notification that is easily filling the reader in that yes, things are working now, yes, we are taking off, uh, gathering altitude, uh, flying over and done. <laughs> so it should, be, it should be over in like five minutes. Like the uh, narration of yes, we are now airborne, uh, adjusting blah 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 uh, descending all that should like the narration itself is probably taking longer than uh, than the process <laughs> <laughs> and done <laughs> <laughs> so yeah uh, I would even I would even do it so that Corey's reaction of oh Nito what did you do uh, will only occur after they have already landed in the new site. Oh, yeah, okay, let me just... Or like, oh, Nito, how did you do that? Or how did you know what to, what to do? Like, uh, I didn't really do anything. Oh. Oh, and uh, and at this point, Alexis could actually interject and say, uh, "I projected the course of action based on uh, your desires." Hi. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like uh, it was me. I I, cal I calculated da -da 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 based on da -da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, actually, <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, if we're going with the idea that Alexis pretends to be less powerful than, than she is at the beginning, uh, then the course could easily be uh, extrapolated 
based on the communication between Corey and Moray. I extrapolated a call of action based on your interaction. <laughs> I also wiped your data pad of malware. <laughs> uh, th that's that's not what I wanted to actually say later on, but that's that's the gist of it. Or like, mm -hmm. I I also uh, cleaned up your your data pad of unnecessary uh, smut or something. <laughs> so, like, I deleted your porn. <laughs> Some something to get on the core skin, but nothing too overt. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> Is at this point is Alexis just a voice in the command center, or has she appeared on the screen? Mm, uh, I would think that at first she's just displaying the voice. I mean, okay. at, at first she's just sort of informing them via voice, and uh, and then once they have sort of settled down and starting to adjust, then she's like, "Would you would you like to uh, activate visual interface now?" And that's when, uh, that's when she uh, manifests as the crude 8-bit wireframe. How did you know what a oh, whole two do? <laughs> Alexis's voice like? Uh, I imagine it to be sort of soft synthetic um, f but fu futuristic which is probably a bit sci-fi um, tropey I guess I think uh, at first, like she's starting small, so at first she's indeed speaking as if from the console. It was I, Dr. <laughs> Boros! <laughs>
Data paid. <laughs> So between these two sentences there could be a bit, but maybe, I don't know, it depends. There needs to be a reaction from the crow now, right? Uh, this could be another instance where Corey tries to brush it off and sound very commandy and it's like, oh, very good! <laughs> Everybody, uh, we are exiting. <laughs> Let's scatter your stuff and uh, da 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 da. Go like, uh, excellent. <laughs> well done. <laughs> While well, he doesn't sound commandy, he tries to sound commandy. So so it's more like, uh. Uh, yes, uh, excellent, uh, I thank you. <laughs> so yeah, more huffing and puffing. Uh, I thank you on <laughs> this fine day, <laughs> on behalf of my crew. <laughs> we shall disembark now. <laughs> Commandy, why is command? Oh, it's suggesting to me that I spell it commander, but for some reason it's capitalized the E. Yeah. Very strange. So then we will have a slight breather. We might, uh, we might even just have a. Uh, time gap between two scenes and uh, and during the time gap people are gathering their stuff and sorting out gear and and all that maybe summarize that they uh, they got to the beach they took their stuff they carried the stuff in And after that, we will kick off with the scene where uh, where Alexis will start gradually show her physical form. So here, no, 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 no don't write oh, it. Okay, don't, okay. don't, don't, don't write it down. I am trying to summarize the video right now. So what I'm trying to say is, we have sorted out the part. Well, mostly sorted out the part where we. Uh, uh, come from the scrapyard to the beach and what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to conclude this video and okay. say that in the next scene which we have already partially written down we will we will have the part where uh, Alexis will start manifesting herself uh, more and more or showing showing her true uh, capacity more and more but we are not there yet so uh, I'm gonna stop recording here. Okay, thank we're, you very much for watching. Yeah, we're on the beach. Uh, <laughs> we, yes, uh, on behalf of our crew, uh, everybody, <laughs> we are disembarking now. <laughs> 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 All right, I will stop here. Thank you very much. Bye.